Hello friends, today we will discuss about while loops in Python. Python has two primitive loops, while loop or a for loop. On while loop, we will go through a while statement, break statement, continue statement, else statement. Hello friends, you are watching Shubham Nain Challenge. Subscribe my channel and to see all upcoming updates in my video, select this to get a notification and if you like the video hit the like button what is a while loop a while loop is a condition until it is not reached the statement under it will execute let's take an example to see how it works i equals to one while this is a keyword for a while loop i less than equals less than six colon now this is the statement if while is less than six then print i and uh, and you have to give some increment condition also so the loop will fall into an infinite loop if you will not give a condition to stop it or you have to create a condition to stop it let's see how it's here. i equals to 1 while i is less than 6 print i 1 this mean this mean is equals to i equals to i plus 1 this is the statement it's shortcut to that right like that so first i value will print one then it will increment to two when i equals to one then equals i is i plus one is two two is less than six true then it will print two two plus one is three three is less than six true it will print three 2, 3 plus 1 is 4 less than 6 and so on when it will reach the 5 plus 1 is 6 6 is less than 6 it's a false condition so it will jump out of the loop if we will pass true in my loop then it will execute forever let's see over here print hello It's an infinite loop, so I have to stop it on until unless my system goes to end. So it's hello, 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 infinite time. So we need to provide a break condition to stop it. So break condition is a condition which used to break the true condition of a while loop. Let's see. I equals to one while I is less than six colon parent I if I equals to equals to three break I equal to one in this we have put if i equals to equals to three when i will equals to equals to three then the loop will break it will go outside of it let's see how what's the result is okay the condition is break when i equals to go i got equals to equals to three but before it break it print the value of an i so this is a break statement you can use this to stop a loop in a certain condition that's uh, like that if you are working one step one step forward and you know on the 15th step there is a call so you need to avoid that thing so we can use a statement that is called continue which st 
stop the current trade and continue with the next step let's see how for this i equals to zero while i is less than six colon i plus equal to one if i equal to equal to three colon continue print i so in this it will goes like this i equals to zero while i is less than six i value zero plus one is one if equal to three i one equal to equal to three no it's false then it will print one over here then it will go one is less than six then i plus one equals to two two is equal to equal to three false it will print two and two is less than six two plus one three if i equal to equal to three it will continue it will jump over this three is less than six three plus one is four false print four so it will not print three else it will print all until the while loop break and there is a statement when you want a if a while loop break a while loop reach its condition where it's false then you can pass an else statement to it let's see how we can do that i equals to one while i is less than six colon print i sorry i equals to plus plus equal to one as print i is no longer less than six this we have been already have understand how it works then when it will goes to i equals to six so six is less than six means false it will fall into l statement and it will print this command first it will print one to six and then it will print i is no longer less than equal to six this was all for this video and please like share and comment if you have any doubt please write your doubt below in the comment and if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and in the next video we will discuss about uh, for loop in python and this is an important topic of for loop in data science we use this a lot let's see in the next video bye bye